so freaking hot under these lights. Oh my god. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Hey guys, welcome back. So today is going to be my May favorites, and I'm so excited to do this because it is my first favorites video, and I have got a ton of products. So grab a snack, sit your ass down, and we're gonna get started. Let's go ahead and get started with the skincare first, and then we'll kind of work our way around that. So the first product that I have been loving is this Bosha uh, Green Tea Mattifying Hydrogel Mask. I love this mask, especially for this time of year. I get extremely oily, and I just want to calm those oils down. So I love using this. You look super crazy when you use this mask. It is gray. I mean, it's like, it's that color. It's the color of charcoal. Um, but it is amazing. It smells good. It says it mattifies, soothes, and refreshes, and that is 100% correct. It is a 100% hydrogel mask. It's a custom fit two-piece mask. So it, um, you have a piece that fits up here, and then another piece that fits down below. And it sticks really well. So I like to, like at night, or you know, whenever I decide to do this pamper kind of skincare routine, I like to wash my face. I don't put any product on it. I put this mask on, let it sit for, what's it say, 20 minutes? Yeah, it says leave on for 20 minutes. So I let it sit for about that time. And then when that 20 minutes is up, I take it off and I rub those oils all into my skin and it just feels amazing. And then I go on with the rest of my skincare and then the next morning my skin just feels so just refreshed and plump I love it. You're gonna hear me actually say I love it a lot. I love it, amazing, beautiful, all those. I'll probably say that a lot in this video, so I'm gonna apologize right now. So I apologize, so we're good. Let's move on. Okay, next for skincare, I'm actually gonna show you these in the order that I use them. Um, first is the Lush O. Oh, aroma water I believe that's how you say it it's a toner water it says a gentle rose and lavender tonic for everyday use that helps hydrate dry sensitive or mature skin without causing it to overreact soft comfortable skin is only a spritz away oh my I love this stuff the smell of it I'm gonna use it right now actually mmm if you love the smell of roses Girl, what are you doing? Why don't you have this? I love applying this right before I apply my moisturizer and you know the rest of my skincare because it does. It really hydrates. It helps all of the product that I'm about to put on soak into my skin and just be able to reap the full benefits of my skincare. Next, I've got this Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. This is more geared towards I believe, yeah, for combination oily to oily skin, which right up my alley. But I love this stuff. It doesn't really have a um, a strong scent. It's just kind of a, a clean, fresh scent. Um, this is the full size bottle. I originally tried out the travel size just to see if I would like it and to see if my skin would react because sometimes my skin can be really finicky and I'll just break out. Um, but this has been my favorite moisturizer that I have tried so far. I was using the Sephora, um, I don't even remember, it was an oil-free moisturizer. And I loved that one too. But then I tried this one and it just, I feel like it makes my skin very radiant. I just love it. You should definitely get your hands on it. If you don't wanna buy the full bottle, I definitely suggest trying out the travel size. Okay, next I have this Bosha Subaki Beauty Oil. This is the travel size. I actually got this from Sephora in one of their Sephora favorites. It was like everything floral because I've been on this huge floral kick. Uh, roses, lilac, lavender, it, it is all, it is my favorite. I love it. Um, but I haven't really tried a beauty oil just because I was afraid with my skin being oily. I just didn't want to overdo it. Um, now I only use this at night. I just use two to three drops after I apply my moisturizer. I rub it into my skin and it just, oh, 
it feels so luxurious. When I wake up, my skin is very plump. It looks youthful. I absolutely love this. I will definitely be going back when I finish it to buy the full size. Okay, kind of going on with skincare, we're going to go through some of my favorite bath and shower products. This is the L'Occitane Almond Shower Oil. This is the, the travel size, by the way. I own the full size, but it's actually in my shower and it's nasty and you don't want to see that. So, this is the travel size. Um, okay, you talk about a luxurious shower product. This is an oil, but it suds up to this just velvety, sudsy suds. <laughs> And I love it. I absolutely love it. It just leaves my skin feeling so soft, especially um, like if you self tan and you don't want to use any body wash that is really harsh and um, with a lot of fragrance, things like that in it, this is perfect for that. My tan no longer fades really patchy like it used to. Um, so I definitely love this. I love the smell. I want Oh, yes. I want to pick up everything in this Loxton almond scent. I absolutely love it. Um, these two things are from a local farm here in Harrisonburg. It's a white oak lavender farm. That's the name of it. Um, these are actually two bath products, but they have all kinds of stuff. They have facial products. They have essential oils. It is just, oh my God, this is leaking. <laughs> They are amazing. I love lavender. I, I really started using lavender products when I was pregnant with my daughter because I had a ton of trouble sleeping. I would be really restless, so I would I started using the Bath & Body Works um, sleep line, their aromatherapy sleep line, and I loved it. And so ever since then, I've been trying to find the best lavender products. And so this right here, these are soaking salts. It is the, I believe, yeah, Himalayan salts with lavender essential oil, lavender and rosebuds are actually in this. And you can see how much I love it because it is almost gone. I just, in the bath, I just kind of sprinkle a bunch throughout my bath. And the, just the, oh gosh, it, the lavender, it just smells like pure lavender. Like it doesn't get any more pure than this. Same with the bath oil. It does not take very much of this at all. Like just a few drops, maybe even a capful. I would say a capful would probably be good. Um, it says relax after a long day in a warm bath with a splash of our lavender bath oil. This beautiful blend of oils will help nourish and moisturize your skin. And they do. I, I just, I absolutely love this. I love anything lavender and I will continue to buy these lavender products. Okay, next, my favorite perfume of the month has been Daisy by Marc Jacobs. This is the Oh So Fresh. This perfume, you guys, if you get a chance, go to Sephora and smell it. I just, oh yes, yes. Okay, you don't need that much, but I love it. I absolutely love it. It is so fresh and florally and just, oh, it's everything that you want in a perfume for spring and summer. I love this hands down. Next, I'm gonna go through some hair products that I've really been loving for this month and that I know I'm gonna love through the summer. Um, first is this Way hair oil. This stuff smells like, like Hawaii. Like a, just a, a very floral, light scent. This oil is very lightweight. I'm almost done with it. I'm so sad it's down to here. Um, I got this at Sephora. I want to try their entire hairline, by the way. Um, but my hair was really dry. The ends were very coarse because I used so many hot tools on it. And I know I really shouldn't, but it is crazy if I do not do anything to it. Um, but I love this stuff. I'll apply it to the ends of my hair before I style it after I style it. I'll sometimes use it if I just uh, if I just go to bed with my hair wet. I'll put this in my hair just for that extra moisture. And I think that this product really helped with my split ends. I really think that it helped mend my split ends. 
Okay, next are a few items from Bumble and Bumble. I have super frizzy curly hair and I'm going to be going to the beach the end of this week so I had to pick these up and try them. I've been trying them for about a month or so and I love them. I think that they are perfect. If you have curly frizzy hair, try these products. First is the Surf Infusion Salt Spray. This is actually an oil and salt infused spray for soft sea tossed waves with sheen. This is the travel size. I just got the travel size because I wasn't sure if I was going to like it and I did not want to buy the super expensive full size if I wasn't going to like it. I know I could take it back, but I just didn't want to do that. So I love this stuff. I spray it on it wet. I spray it on it dry. If I have already put curls in it, things like that, just for, just for extra added texture. I love this stuff. It's Next is this Surf foam spray. It's a blow dry spray. You're supposed to spray it on your hair um, before you blow dry it just for that tussled beach wave look. Um, it says part mousse but way lighter, part salt spray but less gritty for big beachy texture with heat styled polish and this stuff is nice. The only thing is I don't really use it as a blow dry spray. I'm more so after I've styled my hair, put the curls in it that I like. I like to spray it lightly on there, scrunch those curls up just to give it extra body. I also like to spray it at the roots and tease it up a bit and it holds really well. I really love this stuff. I would like to try the whole um, Bumble and Bumble Surf line. I believe they have like a, a curl cream. They have the shampoo and conditioner in this. So definitely give this a try. I definitely would recommend it, especially for if you have fine hair and you want those beachy looks, that beachy blowout, I would say this would be perfect for you to put on your hair when it's damp and then go through and blow dry it with a round brush. I think that that would be beautiful. Okay, now on to what you guys have been waiting for probably the entire video. It is the my makeup products. So I'll kind of go with, I guess, which order I put them on my face. Um, there's not a ton here, but trust me, quality over quantity. First is this Urban Decay Naked Skin One and Done Foundation. Um, I'm in the shade medium. I really, really love this. They say it's a hybrid complexion perfecter and it has an SPF of 20. So it's probably not that great if you're doing, you know, flashback photography, things like that but I think that it's perfect for this time of year. If your moisturizer doesn't have sunscreen um, and you want something with a little extra sunscreen, I think this is perfect. It's a very natural look. It's, I would say it's kind of a satin finish. It's, it's got a pump. I like to really use this with um, my Beauty Blender or the Real Techniques Complexion Sponge, um, but I love this stuff. It has really quickly become my favorite foundation product. Okay, next is blush. This is um, this is by The Balm. It is the Hot Mama blush. I have used this blush so much, but it is so pretty. It is. It reminds me a whole lot of the NARS Orgasm blush. I'll swatch it for you real quick. They're, these The Balm products are just, they're so nice. And you can pick them up at Kohl's. Look at that sheen. That is just so pretty. I think it's perfect for this time of year just because the pink and the gold shift that is in it. I think it is so pretty. Following that is this Makeup Revolution um, Ultra Blush Palette. This is in the shade Hot Spice. I can't want it. Okay. In the shade Hot Spice. There, it comes with, I don't want to blind you, comes with eight different shades. You have got, let's see, what do we got? You've got shimmer blushes, matte blushes, satin blushes, and then you've got two that could be used as highlights. Um, either highlights or I guess blush toppers, but like, it's super pigmented. Like, these are so soft. You see that? So pretty. I highly recommend this palette. I think that it was only 10 bucks maybe for that many blushes for that quality. I got it at Ulta. Um, they just recently started carrying all of the uh, Makeup Revolution products. I plan to try out a bunch more of their stuff. I have searched everywhere for this highlighter. There has been so much hype 
for this highlighter and it has been so hard to find. It is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighter and it is in the shade Precious Petals. Girl, if you have not found this yet, go out and find it. Like, look at that. It is looks so luxurious and it's so soft. Oh, I'm gonna give you a swatch because I have to. You ready? One swatch. Wet n Wild. Another highlighting product that I like to use for highlighting. It is the Milani Tantastic Face and Body Baked Bronzer and it is in the shade Fantastic in Gold. Um, I think if you were, I don't know, maybe super fair, you could use this as a bronzer, but I think, I just think that it's more of a highlight. It is, I love it as a highlight. It's so just basically the color of that Wet n Wild one. So pigmented. Mm hmm Yeah, I know. Speeches, right? Okay, next, I got this at the, I don't know, two weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago, and it has already become my absolute favorite. It's Jaclyn Hill Champagne Glow Face Palette. This was in collaboration with, um, with Becca. I absolutely love this. It is, oh, look at that. Could you die? You get two highlights. You get a luminous blush, a matte blush. Actually, both of these are matte blushes. They are called the mineral blushes. This is Champagne Pop and this is Prosecco Pop. Look at those. I'll do a swatch right here. You see that? Yeah. So pretty. I love, I can't actually wear um, Prosecco Pop by itself. It's a little too yellow gold on my face. Um, so I like to mix Champagne Pop and Prosecco Pop together and I think they give such a beautiful bam in your face highlight the one that everybody wants and then my favorite blush from the palette is by far this rose spritz it's a luminous blush and you know it looks a whole lot like um the bomb hot mama orgasm all that it is just so pigmented I absolutely love it. Okay, lastly, before my camera dies, I have two lip glosses from Buxom. I've got White Russian and Mudslide. I recently picked up Mudslide um, because I've had White Russian for a while and I just, I love it. I always love it. But I think that these are gonna be perfect for this, uh, for the summer. I love glossy lips for the summer. This one is Mudslide, and then this one is White Russian. You probably can't see it. I'll do a close-up. So we have Mudslide, and then we have White Russian. Okay, guys, that wraps up this video, my very first May favorites. I would love to hear what some of your guys' favorites are for this month. Don't forget to follow me on my other social media. I will have those links down below. And also give this video a thumbs up if you did like it and would like to see more favorites videos and hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already and i will see you in my next video bye